No, we're screwing around with these cars. We tend to get like all wrapped up in the fun stuff, you know, carburetor, cam, headers, intake, right? And then, you know, the tuning changes, you know, jetting and, and different adjustments and timing and playing around with all of that. But, you know, nobody ever talks about the real basics, the real fundamentals, because unless you've got a good adequate spark, none of this stuff is going to make any difference. In fact, you can make a change that would be normally be positive that the engine would react to positively and the thing will fall on its face because it doesn't have enough spark to, you know, to light the fire and make the thing go. So at, at the risk of being like overly simple and you, like you diesel guys can go on to a different video at this point. I'm going to show you the basics, how to do this. And you can all stop, pause the video and go out to your car right now. Pop the hood. And here's what you do, right? This is really simple. Now the ignition system on this car, this is just a regular stock single point Chrysler ignition with a stock coil and carbon wires. This is about, this is the absolute minimal system that you're ever going to encounter on a high performance car. So you pull a plug wire off any plug wire, insert a screwdriver into the plug wire like so. Then we start the car. Now you can already hear this thing snapping. So grab the screwdriver and hold it to the ground. And right there is what you should be seeing. Now, if you're dealing with a simple ignition system like this, and you, you, you can hear that spark snapping. And I don't know if you can actually see it on the video, but you've got a blue, a blue spark. Okay, and I'm holding the, the screwdriver about a third of an inch away from ground. Okay, let me shut this thing off. Like I said, that's the absolute bare minimum spark you're going to want with a stock ignition, whether it's a, a, a point ignition or a regular electronic ignition, you're going to get the same voltage to the spark plug. If you're dealing with an HEI, you want to increase that gap a little bit. Instead of holding the, 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 the screwdriver approximately a third to a half inch to ground, you want to go a half inch to three quarters because you're about doubling the, 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 the voltage available at the spark plug going from a conventional ignition to like an HEI. And if you've got a super ignition with a giant coil and an MSD, you want to go three quarters of an inch and that thing should go blah, blah, blah. You know, it, it should, you should get that ratcheting, uh, you know, snapping spark. If you have anything less than that, if you don't hear it snapping, if it's yellow, you know, if, if you only barely get it to jump that gap, you've got problems. Now where those problems are, you know, that's for you to, to figure out whether it's a bad coil or a uh, you know the, the the point gap is closed up or you know the coil wire itself or one of the wires is, is got a lot of resistance inside you've got to troubleshoot that and we'll do a whole video series on that down the road but you know that's it the simple basics you can't go any further you can't get good results out of anything with these cars until you've got you know those basics covered that's it I see tomorrow oh, by the way check out stickman's garage our sister channel he just put up a, a great video on a, a direct back-to-back -back comparison between a stick and an automatic in his race car. Good shit. So anyway, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.